Hi, I'm Debbie Hartner. I'm Elsie Johnson. And we are two sisters, Southern Cooking. Thanksgiving. Today's Thanksgiving and we have so much to be thankful for. I have been contemplating about making this video and I wanted to and we just didn't have the time so I broke down and said today's the day we're going to make an apple pie because I know today's Thanksgiving and a lot of people are wanting to put apple pie on the table. So if you're in a rush and you don't have time to make your own pie dough at this time of the year, it's really common. I use the um, Pillsbury or the off-brand for Pillsbury uh, ready-to-bake uh, pie dough and you just roll it out and do what you need to do. Um, or you can do the store-bought or you can make your own pie crust if you want to. We have tons of recipes on our site for pie crust. So anyways, I'm going to come back. I'm going to go ahead and get my apples in the, in the pan and we're going to go ahead and start sauteing them. And, getting them to be all yummy and good and I have two sweet potato pies in the oven right now so it's gonna be a lovely Thanksgiving and you guys stay safe and healthy and I'll see you okay, back. guys so I'm gonna go ahead and melt two tablespoons of butter and I'm going to go ahead and start putting in my frozen apples now these are honey crisp you need an apple that's going to be able to hold up to the sauteing there is Two and a half pounds of apples here. It's still frozen, so. So I'm going to let this stir, saute, get all melted down, get nice and soft and ready to uh, mix in my flour, cornstarch and sugar and all my other spices. And um, we'll be right back. Okay guys, I'm gonna go ahead and get my dry ingredients together and I'm putting in two tablespoons of all-purpose flour and put in three-fourths of a cup of granulated sugar and I'm going to put in some cornstarch two teaspoons of cornstarch to stir this together here real quick because next I'm going to add in my apple pie spice which has allspice cinnamon and it has nutmeg in it okay so I'm gonna do a teaspoon my apple pie spice and I'm gonna do a half a teaspoon of cinnamon and a fourth of a teaspoon of kosher salt
now that I've got that all mixed together. I'm going to take it over here and pour it over my apples that are cooking. And I'll be right back. Okay. I just drained off some of the liquid off of my apples because they do retain fluid and water. So I'm going to go ahead and start mixing in my mix. start mixing it together. I don't want it to be watery, but I don't want it to be too thick. I want the cornstarch and the flour to thicken up. Okay, so the apples are cooking and they've got a few more minutes to cook. They're thickening up, as you see here. They're holding up really well with the sauteing and the cooking of these apples. If you use a good cooking apple like a Granny Smith or a Honeycrisp, they'll hold up really well. There are some apples that you don't want to use, like Red Delicious. They are too fragile to be cooking like this, so I wouldn't recommend using them. And I'm getting ready to roll out my pie dough and get that set in our pan. Um, the last thing that we do once we get this mixture done is we're going to um, put a little bit of apple cider vinegar in it just to give it that lovely little tang. to take it off the heat and put my apple cider vinegar in. And I'm going to use one tablespoon of apple cider vinegar. Mix that in, make sure it's off the heat. And we'll be back when we're ready to put it in our pie dough. Okay, so I have my pie dough all ready to go. So I'm gonna go ahead and start spooning in my apple pie mixture. By the way, this recipe is delicious. It's simple. It's pretty much everything goes into the pot and then you put it into your pie pan, put it in the oven, bake it. But what gives it that extra kick is the apple cider vinegar. It is lovely. Oh my gosh, is it good. And this is something that you could cook on Thanksgiving and it be fast. It takes a total of an hour and a half from the time you make it to the time you bake it and take it out of the oven. I don't know about you, but I don't think this pie is gonna last very long on our Thanksgiving table. Ben's already been circling around looking for what smells so good. <laughs> I 
I hope that you guys have a lot to be thankful for this year. I know it's been a rough year for everyone. And so many people have lost so many family members and friends. And I'm just thankful and extremely grateful to God that he has watched over my family so well. And that he's given us all an opportunity to be better people. I know that I have become a better person because of this pandemic. It has been a rough year for everyone. And I'm extremely grateful for my family and friends. Extremely grateful that I'm able to make a difference in everyone's lives that I touch in the emergency room and that I'm grateful for. And that, my friends, is the pie going into the pie pan. And I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna put the uh, pie dough on the top, put some egg wash on it, and a little bit of granulated sugar, pop it in the oven, and we'll be right back. Okay, guys, I am getting ready to put my egg wash. Now, I'm taking just a simple egg that I whisked up. You could put milk in it, you could put water in it, you could do whatever you want. I'm just going to dust a little bit of egg wash over the top of it. Then I'm going to sprinkle some granulated sugar on it. And this is just to make sure it crisps up and browns up the way it's supposed to. Okay guys, I've got my egg wash on the top, putting the rest of my tablespoon of granulated sugar across the top. I'm going to bake this for about 20 minutes on 400, and then I'm going to reduce the temperature to 375, and I'm going to continue to cook it until the inside of it is bubbling, uh, about 30, 40 minutes after that, and then we'll have a delicious pie. And we'll see you when we come back. Okay, so this is the halfway point. I just lowered the temperature to 375. Look how beautiful it looks. Oh my gosh. I can't wait for you guys to see this. It's going to be so yummy. Okay guys, so this is the apple pie. It's out of the oven. Look at it, doesn't it look great? I can't wait to cut into it, but I know I have to wait until it cools down. <laughs> so it makes it sure it sets up okay. So uh, I will let you know how it turns out. You guys have a great Thanksgiving and God bless. And I'm Debbie. We're Two Sisters Southern Cooking. And we thank you for visiting our page. Please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.